How to Backup a CFS Program In this tutorial, we will show you how easy it is to backup your CFS. From the main menu, go to your Utilities tab. Open the Backup Restore Program, and you should automatically be on the Backup tab. Now select your backup type, Complete, General, or Custom. A complete backup will include all of your important data for running CFS, and is great to have in case your CFS folder became lost or corrupted. This backup will save your contracts, jobs, specs, drawings, master and save files, etc. You could restore your entire CFS database using a complete backup. A general backup will save the most frequently used parts of the program. The data folder, invoices, jobs, quick draw drawings, specs, and your master and save files. A general backup could be completed on a routine basis to avoid losing recently completed work. A custom backup could be done for specific parts of CFS. For example, if you were working on customizing your master file, you'd want to back up your master and save files every few hours. This way, you could always take a step back if you made a major mistake. The custom option is also the only way of backing up your CFS application files. We recommend that you create a backup of your master and save files before you make any major changes to your master file or before you run a pricing file. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Under Backup File Name, you'll see the folder from where CFS data is being backed up and the suggested backup name. This folder where CFS data is being backed up from should automatically be the area where your CFS data is being stored. On a standalone, this should be your local C drive. On a network, this could be your server or another computer that's acting as your server. The suggested backup name is a combination of CFS and today's date. However, you can modify this name by clicking in the box. I'll add 9 a.m. to this backup, indicating that it was completed around 9 a.m. today. Or I could add a description to the name, such as Before SPS Pricing File. Once all of the options are selected, click Backup and a File Explorer window will appear. Here you can browse to the location where you'd like to store your backup. You could easily back up to a USB stick or cloud service so that your data is portable or off-site. Please keep in mind that you cannot back up to the root of a drive. So, if you are going to back up to a USB stick or to your C drive, you have to create a folder for the backup, otherwise it will be corrupted. For this example, I'll back up to a folder on my desktop. Check the status to see when the backup is complete. Once the status says Backup Completed, you can safely exit. To restore your CFS program to a backup, go back to the Utilities tab and the Backup Restore Program. Then select the Restore tab. This area is password protected, so you'll need to enter your company's codeword. Browse to the CFS backup that you'd like to restore. Click the backup file and then click Open. This will load the backup so that you can see what files are included. A complete restoration will load the entire backup into CFS and replace everything in those areas. To restore only parts of the backup, choose Custom for the restore type. This will unhighlight all of the files for the backup so that you can choose which parts you'd like to restore. In this case, I'll select the master and save files and the spec folder. 
This process may take a couple of minutes to complete depending on the size of the backup. Once the restoration is complete, you'll receive this message. Recovery completed. Now you can safely exit the program and your CFS will be restored to previous settings. For more information on backups or restoring previous backups to CFS, please reference your CFS user manual.